What is up, everybody? It's boy Prince Truth here, and welcome back to another video of WWE 2K18. And welcome here to Battleground. For some reason, I just feel like this took a really long time to get to, but it really didn't. This is going to be a longer episode. My pay per views la should last about 45 minutes to an hour. Even though some of my videos do end up being 45 minutes. But here's the list of matches today. And some of you guys sh might know it, and some of you guys might not know the, the uh, matches. I also give some time to join the uh, video if you're watching this on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, then you got nothing to worry about. You'll be able to see the whole thing. But I have Super Mom taking on Rocket for the women. Sorry, for the Raw Women's Championship. We have Lucifer, the Beav, Necromancer, and Killing Joke in a Fatal Four A match for the United States Champion. Ship. Seth Rollins will be facing AJ Styles. Then Jed will be facing Rob Van Dam, who will also be facing. Sorry, it will be Jed versus Rob Van Dam versus Kaiva for the Intercontinental Championship. Prince Truth will be facing Braun Strowman in an Extreme Rules match. Jeff Hardy will be facing Dr. Fear for the Universal Championship. And in our main event, we will have Drex, sorry, Malachi Hamir, yeah, Dr facing Drex Hamir for the World Heavyweight Championship in a ladder match. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE Battleground here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Um, and for our very first match, we have the Raw Women's Championship on the line. Rocket facing Supermom. Super Mom has a new look, if you guys didn't notice. <laughs> Don't bug out on me. It stopped loading. Okay, it's going a little bit. Go! Go! Alright, on three. Go all the way to the end. One. You didn't even let me count. Whatever. Come on now. You got to the end. Let's accept this and get on with this match. The following contest is for the Raw Women's Championship.
the Mafia. Rocket waiting to get in the ring, I guess. These guys, all three of these guys have title matches tonight. Rocket is in this woman's match, Jeff Hardy in the Universal title match, and Rob Van Dam in the Intercontinental title match. This is our first match for the women's championship. Introducing the challenger from someplace in Vermont, Superman. I forget where where in Vermont. And the champion from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She is the Raw Women's Champion. Rocket. And this match is now underway. Superman was unable to be at Raw this week due to a concussion. Superman stretching the arms of Rocket. Rocket, Rocket could submit here, but I, I highly, highly doubt that Rocket is going to submit here. Rocket is tough. One of the toughest. Divas on the roster. Yeah. Oh, Rocket locks her up. Close line. Ooh. Rocket takes her mom off the ropes. Here she comes in. She picks her up and back body drop. Rocket slams her knee to the mat. Picks up Rocket, throws her to the mat. Gets her up. Ooh. Rocket throws her over. And head first to the mat. Backbreaker. Rocket looking for here. All oh, Rocket could be looking to end things early with a booty pop and moonsault. And now looking for the Black Widow. She was able to make Nia Jax tap with this on Raw. Is Supermom going to submit here? On the Supermom able give her a sidewalk slam stretching out the arms and rocket immediately realizes she has to get out of that picks up Superman but Superman was able to get out of that oh her <laughs> Karana Now 
Just picks up. Rocket punch to the head. Ooh, punch to the gut. That, that punch to the gut looks much more effective though. Rocket has super moment of Boston Crab. Bray Wyatt looks incredibly disappointed. Super Mom gonna submit here. Oh, Rocket lets her out. Rocket maybe wants to affect more damage on her. Rocket rolling through. Arm drag. Oh, head slam to the mat. Another booty popping. Moon salt. Oh, it zoom on with a DDT. Supermom sends Rocket off. Oh, sorry, yeah, Rocket off the ropes and hits her with a drop kick. Now Supermom seems like she's feeling something. And one. Supermom getting rocket up a little bit at a time. Oh, head into the turnbuckle. In two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven. Eleven times slamming rocket space into the turnbuckle. Oh, Supermom. Be looking to end things here. Another butterfly suplex. Three in a row. Now she's looking to get the women's championship here. And Rocket able to kick out a two. One picks up Rocket. Rocket slides out. Reverse DDT. Superman with a jawbreaker. DDT. Why did I say DDT? That was definitely a bulldog. There she. The super drop. And Rocket was able to kick out, and Rock and Superman comes in double axe handle to the knee. Supermom. Oh, good. Oh, this, that's, that is disrespectful. And now Rocket gonna make her pay for that disrespect. <laughs> Slams her to the mat. Now she's looking for the cover. Stomped Rocket on the face. I was tearing at the face. Oh! Well, Spine Buster. See, Van Dam looks very happy with that. Rocket, close line. And looks like Rocket looking for another booty pop and moonsault. And slamming her head to the mat about three times, it looks like. And oh, slamming her face to the mat. And now Rocket could be looking at things here. 
She's gonna lock it in. Can she lock in another Black Widow? It's on. The Black Widow is on. And Super Mom can't take no more. Super Mom is done. And Rocket retains. The championship. Here is your winner, and still the Raw Women's Champion, Rocket. I, I think Rocket right there was saying that she's taking on all comers. Whoever wants to just go ahead and try. It won't happen. Up next we have our United States Championship match. It'll be a ladder match. Necromancer. Lucifer, the Bee, and representing the Rose Dragon Motorcycle Club, Killing Joke. Come on. There we go. My bad. You know, I remember um, Beave was, I believe Beave was United States Champion before we went to one title at one point. And you could win that back tonight. match to be underway for the United States Championship is, is hung above the ring. Oh. Killing Joke goes over the top rope and drops to the floor. Necromancer pushing the heart of Lucifer 
Lucifer and Beav have not been getting along at all. Ooh. But now Killing Joke is taking care of Beav and Necromancer on Lucifer. Lucifer gets slammed. No, I'm sorry, Beav gets slammed into the ring post. Necromancer looking for a closed line from hell, I believe it was. But Lucifer was able was able to get out of the way and now showing off with squats and we deliver a suplex. Killing joke. Taking it to loot to be on I can't separate them two. Taking it to be on the outside. Slams Lucifer's face into the mat. Oh, well, he went to pick up Killing Joke, but Killing Joke was able to get out of it. And Joke slams him onto his knee. Necromancer really taking it to him, to, but he's unable to hit that clothesline. That that, that clothesline could actually be what stops everything right now. Killing Joke introduced the ladder, and Lucifer was about to use it, but Necromancer was able to stop him. Oh, Superman punch! It looks like, looks like Beef is bleeding. Killing Joke sets up the ladder, going to the top of the ladder. Could be looking to be United States champion. And Necromancer, and Lucifer don't even know. Oh, uh, Lucifer knows. Now well, Beef is up there. He throws Killing Joke off. What is Necromancer doing? Trying to help? Beef? Oh! Necromancer picks up Lucifer and slams him to the mat. And now Lucifer rolls to the outside and as that ladder dropped on him, Necromancer was probably looking to get the title, didn't even know B was standing right behind him. Oof, buckle bomb. Beef throws Necromancer into the turnbuckle. Killing joke back at the top of the ladder, realizes Beef is coming up. Uh oh. That's good. Oh, looks like we're about to see a choke slam from the top of the ladder. Now, Beef has his hands on the title. These guys are fighting at the top of the ladder. Lucifer trying to push the ladder. Can he push? He cannot. He can't seem to push it down. Oh, we could be seeing the choke slam now, but no. Necromancer again fighting out of it and now ladder gets pushed over I think the ladder or B hit killing joke in the head oh hell drop oh and killing joke able to hit Lucifer and knock him down and now killing joke everyone's down this is killing jokes moment he could be United States champion Lucifer getting up. Lucifer headed to the, heading to the top. These guys are fighting at the top. Killing Joke was so bad. He had to be so close to winning. But now Lucifer has his hands on the United States title. Can he unhook it? I swear it looks like there seems like there's like a combination that they gotta listen for. Lucifer trying to get this title and not giving any mind the necromancer is beating him and now necromancer with a power bomb setting him out of the ring now beef punch and killing joke wait a second wait a second wait a second 
Necromancer with his second title ever in this company. He's, he was NXT champion at one point. If he hasn't had much of anything since then, he got lucky, got put in this title match. And with that and with that same luck, he grabs and wins the United States Championship. This is truly amazing. That that is amazing. Honestly, I thought Killing Joke was gonna win the match. Oh, I can play this match. I'm actually going to. I'm gonna be the phenomenal one. A J Styles. And now that the United States Championship is fixed, AJ's not gonna be coming out with it. Go ahead and comment right now on the stream. Do you want me to try to win the match with a phenomenal forearm or a Styles Clash? Comment right now. Styles. We've taken on Seth Rollins. These guys have been not getting along. S Seth Rollins actually attacked. Burn it down! Attacked AJ Styles. Breakout? Nah. I think Seth Rollins is the one that turned heel. So AJ's not going to do that. AJ Styles was supposed to be facing Brutus Beefcake a couple weeks ago. But Seth Rollins stopped that match from happening. Suplex. AJ. Taking on Seth Rollins. I hate how the voices are like so deep. No matter who the wrestler is. You should record. All the wrestlers that are like, like, yeah, sure, I'll record. They should record them, like, making, like, ah, noises. It was AJ Styles. It's an arm drag. Slams AJ down. AJ rolls out of the ring. And drops his face. AJ off the ropes comes back and Rollins drops him. Seth Rollins picks up AJ. And AJ gets out of it before getting dropped. AJ Landon strikes here. The closed line. And AJ to Sweeten. And picks up Seth Rollins. Suplex. Arm drag. Stops him on four of four, but Seth Rollins counters it. Seth Rollins! AJ Land is with strikes again. Close line. Oh, I have two finishers. I don't need it. I don't need to decide which one I want to use now. AJ. We could be seeing a phenomenal forearm. Possibly lays it in. Let's take another look at that. Phenomenal forearm. Just amazing. And now, what we're going to see here 
AJ Styles. Just looking for Styles clash and it hits. And looking for the cover. One, two, and Rollins somehow kicks out. And it looks like Rollins is bleeding. I don't know if he got if he got busted open during the phenomenal form or the Styles clash. But Rollins has to get build a lot of momentum here. This match has taken a toll on Seth Rollins. Super kick to AJ Styles. Hey, so it looks like Seth Rollins is trying to like, build something here. Try to get something going for himself here. AJ eats a knee. But AJ was able to get to the ropes. Stomp. Bringing AJ's knee into the mat. Seth Rollins doing a high risk maneuver here. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's a high risk. Brain Buster delivered to Seth Rollins. AJ looking to end this match. Two count. I I, sw I could have sworn that was a three. I, I I don't think Seth kicked out in time. I really I really don't. AJ gets Seth Rollins up, drops him hard. And now Styles could be looking for another Styles clash. And one, two, three. AJ Styles is walking out tonight the winner. going on to the next match. And now we have the Intercontinental Championship match. Come on, load, load, faster. Jed demanded a title match. I believe Jed was Intercontinental Championship. Championship. He was the championship. I believe Jed was champion at one at one point. Kaiba leaving the rest of his team in the back.
Kaiba flaunting Intercontinental Championship. Fans booing him bad. They don't like Kaiba in New Jersey, I guess. This match is for the Intercontinental Championship. Free calling for the bell to start this match. And Kaiba immediately goes after Jed. Now Van Dam going after Kaiva. Kaiva is the biggest threat because he's been in a continental champion for a long time and literally the biggest threat. Oh jeez, Kaiva! And then Ka I think Kaiva realizes it how much of a threat he is. He's got to take it to both of these guys. Very keep watch his back because Van Dam could come after him. Kaiva. It's a neck breaker. Off the ropes. Van Dam runs into him. And could be looking to oh nope. Nope. Pick it Jed. Able to close line him and knock him down. Kaiva gets picked up. It drop down. Oh yeah, he dropped, he dropped Jed down, didn't he? Van Dam's taking a breather outside the ring. Kaiva goes to the second rope. Body splash. Killing Jed. Van Dam comes back in to break up the cover. Now Van Dam going to work on Jed here. And drops him on the ropes. And now Van Dam goes after Kaiva. Kaiva drops him. Kaiva with a super kick. Well, Kaiva realizes this is his chance to win. He picks up Van Dam, slams him to the mat. Looking for the cover. Referee. One, two. And Van Dam was able to kick out. But Jed was coming in to stop the count. Van Dam was able to kick out at two. Jed. It's thrown across the ring. Kaiva runs at him and kicks him in the stomach. Another kick to the stomach. He's gonna stop, but Jed stopped him. And slams him to the mat. Looks like he landed on Van Dam's legs there. Jed. Oh, Jed could be looking to end this match here. Jed even checked to see if Kaiva was coming in. And Van Dam able to kick out at two. Oh, Kaiva picks up Jed, but Jed able to counter it. Van Dam picks up Jed. Jed Nice. Van Dam in the head there. What's Jed looking for here? A suplex stunner. Oh, he went to. I think I think Jed was looking to win this match. Got caught by Kaiva. Jed, I think Jed was gonna knock Kaiva out of the ring. Oh no, Kaiva's gonna pick up the pieces that Jed laid down. And Kaiva retains the Intercontinental Championship. I think if Jed would have been able to knock Kaiva out of the ring, Jed would have had this match won. Right there. That is what is what sealed the deal. But Kaiva was able to pick up the pieces.
On to the next match. Up next, Prince Truth faces Braun Strowman in an Extreme Rules match. to the next match Prince Truth, all went for a low drop kick, got caught, and now Strowman gonna take it to Prince Truth. Prince Truth has been harassing Strowman. It looks like Prince Truth is looking to do it again. And Strowman screamed as soon as Prince got out of the ring. Neckbreaker. Taunting Strowman. Prince Truth doesn't want to deal with Strowman at all. Prince Truth quickly climbs on top of that cable box crossbody. Knocking down Strowman. Prince Truth now has a chair. And he's tearing Strowman apart. Why, why would he drop the chair? Prince Truth grabbing another chair. Just laying. Strowman in with chairs here. Oh, come on, not another chair. What more do you want to do to him, Prince? The chair fell apart. Completely evaporated. I'm playing. Prince Truth now has a trash can. Drop Strowman quickly. Oh. Strowman has Prince up. Prince. Gonna walk to the ring. Let's Strowman. Maybe not to the ring, but. Okay, yeah. Prince Truth is going in the ring now. Strowman was able to dodge Prince Truth, trying to give him a respect knee. Prince Truth roped Bulldog. Oh, Prince Truth. Prince Truth uh, went for another respect, and the Braun was able to counter it. And now Prince looking to get, get the cover here. And Strowman kicks out. Prince Truth can't not be happy about that result. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Prince. Prince looks like he's going to be tearing apart the table here. Pr 
entrance truth getting out of the ring and now Braun's following him uh oh Prince now in a bad bad place Prince truth up again and able to get out of it Prince Truth now slamming Strowman's face off the announcement table. And another one. No way, not another one. Strumman countered all the other ones. And now Prince Truth looking to win this match. I will respect me, and he does. Right there, Prince Truth try to go for the cover. And that right there. For truth, it's like he can't believe that he won this match. On to the next match. Now for the Universal Championship, Jeff Hardy will be facing Dr. Fear. Uh, I was gonna say, so far, the Mafia have been doing pretty good. But uh, RVD didn't win his match. Rocket did. The following contest is for the Universal Championship. Dr. Fear has been doing amazing in title matches. Dr. Fear.
Oh, whoa, 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 Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Jeff. Oh. I thought Jeff Hardy was going to take a cheap shot there. He made his entrance. Not just for that championship right there. This match introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing it at 200 and something pounds. Yeah. Hurry. And his opponent, from your darkest fears, he is the Universal Champion, Dr. Fear. Now Jeff Hardy realizes that this is his chance to win that Universal Championship. The Dr. Fear has been taken to anyone who steps in the ring with him for that championship. This match is now underway. Dr. Fear picks up Jeff Hardy and slams him to the mat. Oof. Dr. Fear. Fist drop. Knees are in his face. Jeff Hardy. Now DDT. Oh. Off the ropes. Oh, Jeff tried to do a clothesline. Jeff Hardy looks like he's taking it to Dr. Fear. We could be seeing a new Universal Champion. Jeff again. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying Dr. Fear is going to lose. Dr. Fear still could come back at the end of this. Like, for, he could catch him here. Oof. Jeff just kicked him. And see, look, see now Dr. Fear is on top of things here. And Dr. Fear slams Jeff Hardy to the mat. Oof. And for the cover, two count. Dr. Fear waiting for Jeff to get up. Oh, oh, has him in a vice grip. Jeff Hardy fading, he's out. Now Dr. Fear looking to seal the deal.
Dr. Fear. Can't believe it. Dr. Fear gets Jeff Hardy up. Knee to the gut. Jeff Smart rolling out of the ring. Great, great ring awareness right there. Suplex down to the mat. Leg drop. Picks up Jeff Hardy. Face into the mat. Into the apron, I'm sorry. Is Dr. Fear looking to get a count out of victory here? Referee's on eight. Ooh, Jeff Hardy, I don't think Jeff Hardy's realizing that. This, doesn't he know? Does he? The referee's on nine. It's over. And Jeff Hardy wins, but he does. Does Jeff Hardy realize that he, he's not champion? Jeff Hardy doesn't get the championship. Jeff Hardy wins by count out. Well, I mean, here's your winner, Jeff Hardy. However, the match was not ended by pinfall or submission. Therefore, still the champion, Dr. Fear. That sucks. But up next is our main event, and this match cannot be won by countout. This is a ladder match. Drex is your world heavyweight champion. And he will be facing Malachi Hamir. The following contest is a ladder match, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Where's this championship? Oh. Yeah, it's it's hanging above the ring. There it is right there. These guys, let's go one-on-one -on -one in that championship. Suspended above the ring. Suplex. Malachi stops him and punches him in the stomach. 
some more some shots there. Another guy picks up Drex and slams him down on his face. Punches him in the gut. Another guy off the ropes comes back and, and eats an elbow. I don't know what Jux just tried to do there. Malachi. Picks up Drax and slams him to the mat. <laughs> DDT. Drex slams Malachi to the mat. Oh, what's Drex looking for here? On the mats outside the ring. This this could be Drex's moment. I think Drex wants to punish Malachi. Drex slams him to the mat again. If I was Drex, I'd grab that ladder and climb to the top. But see, Drex has made him uh, made a mistake by grabbing Malachi. Malachi, another DDT outside the ring. It looks like Malachi is going to get that ladder and climb to the top and become world champion. I think uh, Drex is out. Oh no! Wait! 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 wait. I think okay Malachi just sees Drex climbs to the ladder climbs up the ladder quickly trying to grab that title he saw Drex he looked right at him Drex wants to be champion but Drex wants to retain his championship I should say and Drex with a power bomb Drex has his legs sweeped out. Now Malachi heading to the top of the ladder again. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Off the top. A body splash. And a DDT. Now Malachi at the top of the ladder again has his hands on the title. Trying to figure out the combination to the lock that's up there. I swear, that's what it, that's what it seems like. Drex just beating him, trying to get him to come down. And another no no another power bomb from the top of the ladder. Drex. Does Drex even want to win this match? Or does he just want to beat Malachi senseless? Malachi! Slam to the mat. And now Drex looking to retain his championship. And Drex retains his championship were there any title changes? I don't think there were any title changes United States Championship 
the title didn't have it was vacant so that didn't change rocket kept her championship drex kept his um there, there's another title universal and dr fear technically won that won the championship but the question was was there any title changes and there wasn't any at all all the champions keep their titles tonight but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I will be doing a video tomorrow remember tomorrow is gonna be around two o'clock um, between two and three so um um what am I trying to say here? So remember that for Twitch. YouTube, you guys will get it whenever you get it. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys then. Tomorrow at 2. I am out.